Why do you keep regretting when you know you haven't done the work? You get so upset that you never achieve your goals, but you never put in the work to achieve them. You keep complaining that you don't get the things that you want, but you know you don't deserve them. You get so jealous of the people who got the things that they want in their life without taking consideration of the hard work and effort they put in to get to that point. You get so sad that you haven't become fit, but you haven't went to the gym in months. You get sad that your grades are low, but you never studied for a single test. You get so sad that your subscribers are low, but you haven't uploaded in months. Most of the time, the reason we suffer is because of our own stupid decisions. Well, I can't blame you since even I have my own regrets. I'm tired of this constant cycle of regret and I want you to join me to finally put an end to this cycle. Learn from your mistakes. We're all human and it's in our nature to make mistakes. It just depends on the person if and how they plan to bounce back from it. Remember, a person doesn't learn from being perfect. A person learns from making mistakes. Rather than beating yourself up from the mistakes you made, instead, learn from them and find possible solutions. You're not gonna get anything if you just keep whining about fucking up. Instead, take action and bounce back. As said in the world-famous movie, The Lion King. I've been running from it for so long. Ow! Jeez, what was that for? It doesn't matter! It's in the past! <laughs> yeah, but it still hurts. Oh yes, the past can hurt. But the way I see it, you can either run from it, or learn from it. Ah! You see? So what are you going to do? Stay consistent. There's a common misconception about consistency. People think consistency means doing something perfect every single time, which is wrong and unrealistic. Consistency is the trend of doing something. It'll look something like this. Let's say on day one, you work out. Same as day two, day three, and day four. But you miss on day five because you had to go to this birthday party. Just because you miss day five doesn't mean your whole routine is fucked and finished. Just do the exercise the next day. It's that simple. Even if you just do one push-up, it's completely fine because it's still progress. Because remember, small progress is still better than no progress. Delay gratification. There was an experiment called the marshmallow experiment. Basically, they brought kids into a room and they were shown a marshmallow. The deal was the researcher was going to leave the room and if the kid didn't eat the marshmallow, the kid would get a second marshmallow. So it was simple, either one treat now or two treats later. Some kids took the marshmallow immediately, some kids waited a bit and then ate the marshmallow, and some kids barely finished the task. The researchers followed the children, and as the years passed, they found that the kids who were able to delay their gratification had better SAT scores, lower levels of sustenance abuse, a lower likelihood of obesity, and generally just better scores in life. This shows us that delaying gratification is critical to having a better life. There are multiple examples of this in real life, such as if you do your homework first before playing video games, you get better grades. If you save money now, you'll be more financially stable. The simple rule is do the hard thing first. In conclusion, most of the time that we suffer is because of our own stupid decisions. If you want to stop the suffering, you have to take action and stop being a lazy bum. Of course, there are instances that it's out of our control, but most of the time, it's our own fault. Which is why I made actionable steps on mitigating this suffering. Take the tips I've given and implement them into your life. Remember that to live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. That basically concludes the video. If you ever liked the video, consider leaving a like and a sub. I made this video not only as a reminder to myself, but as a reminder to you as well. That the only person we can blame for the suffering in our lives is ourself. We get upset that we don't have our ideal body, but we don't put in the work. We get upset because we have low grades, but we don't put in the work to study. I get upset about not getting my ideal numbers, but I don't upload consistently. Essentially, just keep yourself accountable. And if ever you enjoy watching my videos, consider watching my other types of videos, such as this one, where I talked about getting your life together.
What's wrong with you? How many times have you fucked this up? You said this was the last time. Fucking hell. Get your life together. Aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye!